does anymore. It shows actually it's very difficult to, to stay there for long. I stayed there for about four minutes, five minutes, and I went out. And as you, you come from each and everywhere you, you come from, you go in deep and deep on sadness, up to down there. Uh, L'idée d'un génocide est totale. Nous on trouve des grands, des gros, des petits, des tout petits. C'est un génocide complet, total. Contrairement euh, de ceux de chez nous, où on conserve les eaux dans une maison, aussi des étagères, ici, ça donne l'impression de la durabilité de, 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 du site. Complexité. Yeah. Complexité in the way that uh, it is made of. It's like a labyrinth. You don't understand what is it. Yeah. And the genocide which is also like that. You can't understand. Yeah. He is uh, providing space. And everybody who comes here fills the space by thinking about it, by not getting an interpretation, by just seeing this is abstract. You know, it's not nothing, it's no symbols. Mm -hmm. There are no symbols in this memorial. The historical circumstances, the perpetrators' intentions, and the history of the Jewish people and their persecution in different European countries, they all form the basis of our displays. The fact that talking about murder on an industrial scale, in a way, plays it down. The fact that it was very personal murder, involving a lot of murderers. Many people believe that the murder of the six million European Jews was mainly carried out in the gas chambers in the extermination camps, primarily Auschwitz. But a third of all victims, some two million people, were killed in mass shootings. The last section of the timeline shows the final years of the war, when the German defeat was imminent and the Red Army was advancing from the east. During this period, prisoners were herded from camp to camp always heading west. Hundreds of thousands of people died on these death marches. L'idée même d'extermination, certaines personnes pensent à exterminer les autres, l'idéologie qui est derrière tout ça, les méthodes utilisées, la cruauté, C'est semblable, même si chez nous, il n'y a pas eu de, de chambre à gaz, mais certaines victimes auraient souhaité qu'ils soient gazés au lieu d'être massacrés par la machette, par les outils traditionnels. Nous ne voulons pas que le peuple Hutu soit considéré comme un peuple de, de criminels. Ce n'est pas inné, ce n'est pas quelque chose qu'on transmet de, de, de père en enfant. Mais dans, 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 on, nous sommes en train de chercher même chez nous, dans notre histoire, quels sont les fondements, les, les, les racines du génocide. Et pourquoi on est arrivé là, dans un peuple qui vivait en harmonie, même s'il y avait des, des clichés, des mythes, des diabolisations, d'exclusion. Parce qu'on disait des tout ce sont des étrangers, ils sont venus d'ailleurs, mais on cherche toujours à trouver des explications. Pour le moment, euh, au Rwanda, euh, ceux qui ont, euh, ceux qui ont exécuté le génocide, donc ceux qui ont participé au, gén au génocide, leurs parents, bien les mêmes, même ceux qui viennent de, de purger leur peine dans les prisons, eux, ils ne souhaitent pas que qu'on continue à faire cette, cette commémoration. Il faudrait essayer de les amener à porter leurs responsabilités. Il est trop tôt peut-être aujourd'hui, il est encore tôt. Je crois que ça a pris beaucoup de temps aussi ici en Allemagne. Ça a pris beaucoup de temps. Eh bien, nous espérons que le temps, que ça prendra du temps, mais que les gens finiront par dire oui, c'est vrai, nous avons euh, commis des crimes. Et 
il faut qu'on puisse en garder un certain souvenir. Nous souhaitons que dans notre pays aussi, euh, cet antagonisme entre les Hutus et Tutsi soit, euh, soit terminé petit à petit. Ça ne viendrait pas d'un jour, mais que au moins des enfants, des tueurs, même les tueurs et même pas ce que nous vivons aujourd'hui avec eux, regrettent, reconnaissent et fassent des gestes, gestes de réparation. I saw the perpetrators running around, they were looking for people. Uh, I was trying to escape from the uh, area I was, uh, I was uh, hiding to another, other areas where they don't know me. I would prefer to stop by here and I uh, can uh, receive your questions. But um, hopefully this will not repeat again. Thank you very much. <coughs> genocide was done by Rwandans themselves. It was done by the government, the Habyarimana uh, government, which was a Hutu government. So there is no one who came from abroad to come to kill people. One lady told us that six members of our family had been killed by the neighbor. And this man who killed his family who was released because he asked for forgiveness and uh, uh, there was a, has been a presidential decree of releasing at least 30,000 perpetrators. So this woman came and told us, you know what? You see this man who is helping me with my roof because it was raining? This man killed my father, my, my, my husband with six of my children. But I stayed here five years, no one was, was helping me. But I don't have any choice. He's the one now helping me. You know? Um, yeah, I was just wondering uh, to what extent you would see yourself and your fellow countrymen, countrymen as randoms or rather still as Hutus and Tutsis? So do you still think there's some division? We are trying. I have to say that, to be honest with you. We don't. We, are, we know where, who we are, but it's about what is priority and who I am as a Tutsi. What, if I promote it, where I end up to? If I promote being a Rwandan, what I will end up to? This is a matter of choice, but it seems working. Rwanda sometimes you find that there are things which are not told. There are suspicion between people. For example, um, relative to people don't, don't, don't give some details about what happened. Uh, survivors and victims don't trust perpetrators. So there is a little bit of mistrust and uh, history which is not agreed on. People of my generation, we are the second generation. They are really all committed and curious to get out of this and to face their, their history. Because we are all Rwandans and we, have, we share the same things. We share the same school, we share the same workplace. We are all the same. So if you want to, 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 to construct a new Rwanda, we need to, to make this happen. And it's not our parents who have been involved in who will make this happen, it's us. And it starts now. During the commemoration, we always generalize that uh, Hutus are bad, 
it was committed genocide and that if we don't address that at another stage then we we might end up hurting even other people i never read that the germans did this what i was reading it was the national socialism the nazi the ss so it shows that people who wrote the history wrote the exact history for europe or for germany and poland it took almost 50 years to have what is what we are saying today but uh, given the same experience i think for one we shouldn't wait for 50 years taken in the past. He admitted, my unit killed more than 90,000 civilians. I wrote it down in my reports. I am a German officer, I would no, never lie to my commanders. And he explains that world history only knows progress if the strong prevails and the weak is taken away. And that's why he is not a murderer. It is the course of events, the law of history. He made a career as a police officer, not as a party member. But that's why they have been so dangerous. As professionals, they knew how to do. The identity, the names of the victims are all the same to them, but they mention if they killed male Jews or Jewish women. They sum up and we see a small unit, less than 200 men kills in July, 3,834. By one man. In no, one, one, one less, less than four weeks. Of course, we have to stand firm to our message about the facts. Mm -hmm. It is already an answer yeah. to questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is the answer to the question, mm -hmm. what happened? Mm -hmm. This is, we have to stand firm and we have to show it. Mm -hmm. It's our job as a student. And I actually would say that it is better not to give answers because mm -hmm. they are subject to research. Mm -hmm. Only the people who are no longer living the paper would give mm -hmm. the appropriate answers behind their acts. Mm -hmm. Others should only be theories or hypotheses. Because you cannot tell 100% no, the, motiv of the motivations <laughs> of these people. No. Is it an ideology that they will have been following, it's something they believed in? But I think the real job for especially those engaged in social sciences should be, you should think about the division between the two sides, where this division came from, how it emerged, and not to take it as given. This is something important, I would say, not to accept everything what happened, but to learn it was made. What we have seen is so important. It's not, it's not important for Jews only. It's very important for humanity. I felt actually there is a big connection between me and and the place. Because this happened to Jews. Some time later, it happened to, uh, to, uh, to Cambodia, it happened to Balkans, it happened to, uh, to Rwanda, to my people, to my parents, to my, my four sisters. It happened to Darfur. And the question is, what people learned from the Holocaust. The memory of genocide is very important for people to learn from the past in order to build the future. But at the same time, it's very important to pay respect of the people who perished. Marie a été tuée. Dès que nous sommes séparés, elle a été tuée tout près de, de la maison. 
Mais oui, je n'étais pas ensemble avec, avec lui. C'était un voisin, ils étaient en équipe, mais je connais le responsable de l'équipe. Il s'appelle Chassa. C'est son surnom, le nom professeur Haruma. Je ne me souviens pas très bien, mais il était surnommé Chassa. Ils avaient des physiques. Il a tiré sur le Ce n'est pas si facile que les bourreaux, avec leurs convictions, participent dans les commémorations, dans les activités euh, qui aident les, les victimes. S'ils ne viennent pas de leur bonne volonté, de leur cœur, c'est chagrinant. Il faudrait qu'ils qu rendent hommage à, aux victimes. From this platform, it's about three, maybe four hundred meters to the gas chambers. Two gas chambers were there at the end of the track, and they were the biggest, and two others were in the forest over there. And when they left the trains, the families, they were standing right over here, where we are standing right now, and first of all, the families were separated. Women and kids on this side, men on this side. And then one of the doctors that used to work at Auschwitz, he was standing right over here in the middle of this platform and they carry out the selections, the doctors. So they decided who will stay here, so who will work and live in Auschwitz or who will die immediately. Most of them were killed straight away. People that were old, women pregnant, little kids, cripples, disabled. Or well, sometimes all of them, even people that were fit to work, they were killed in the gas chamber. So the whole transport. Sometimes the ones that were fit to work, useful for the Nazis, they were sent to the camp. And then they became the prisoners. So they got their numbers. They used to live here and work here. For example, when a Rwandan team, football team is playing, no one has ever go, go in the stadium and say, that is a hood playing that it team. When you win, it's a victory of all Rwandans. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking this as an example of all other sectors in the future. We will be seeing a win of us, not of perpetrators and victims. Mm -hmm.